There's a story behind every song, but you don't always get to hear that story. I had this conversation with a friend of mine and we decided for the next two EPs that I'll be releasing, we'll just sit down and have some of those conversations and tell some of those stories. Maybe that will give you some insight into some of the songs that you like and love, and maybe that will inspire you to just start having some of those conversations with your friends. My name is Chimera, and these are our conversations about hearts and minds. Except you forgot the fact you never really researched on any aerodynamics and all the stuff you need to know about. You don't even know what out you did is, but sit and lecture about the beauty of your panoramic views. So deductively speaking, your dream is a lie, and you would inadequately prepare to keep your wings in the sky. Now at the end of the day, we all know you failed, but it was Do you have a favorite music to genre to create? Number one, to create. Okay. Number two, to listen to. Favorite is very tough, but like try. Mm, to listen to, I think like maybe soul type. Mm. chill vibes type thing but yeah there's like reggae is also nice mm. it's just chill vibes i mm. think to create i don't know i like experimenting yeah. so i'm like like let me try this let me try that see what works change the world is the second song of the minds ep yeah. and you're full on rapping <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, oh, Chimera, I can do this too. Okay, we know like in, <laughs> in previous songs, we've had you do bits here yeah. and there, but like this one, verse one, verse two. So what is the story behind uh, choosing that style for this particular song, writing this song? So the advantage of, of, of rap is that you can say a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas other songs are like, you have like, allow for a lot more space. Yeah. I, but then also it's like, there's a, there's a cool message. Like I go with the emotion of it and it yeah. can be like, this is this nice. This song this, sounds like it's wearing like Air it Jordans. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Yes. You know, like, and then some songs feel like, like, yeah, mm. man. Chilling peace, by the pool. Like, <laughs> I'm at ease. So this one is one of the songs yeah. I feel like. And it also like, that was the message. It's changed the world. Yeah. And change the world comes with a lot of like, it's a bit of a heavy message. Yeah. And there's a lot to say in terms of like why maybe we're not changing the world or inspiring or challenging us yeah. or challenging myself and that kind of thing. Like, yeah. like for the end where it's like, we're not ready for the very next level till you're overqualified for this I one. That line, but I'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah. then you kind of have to set it up and then see where that goes and then yeah. so the different aspects. There's a... The point is there's much to deal with, so yeah. it's a nice opportunity to go in with. And it is actually, um, of a lot of the songs on the EP, it is one of those songs that you have to listen to more than once. And yeah. you're like, okay, I feel like he's telling me a lot in verse one. Today's concentration is verse one. <laughs> then tomorrow I'll focus on the yeah, chorus. We'll come back to it. And tomorrow I'll, I'll hear verse two. And then uh, we'll hopefully go. the beat is nice enough to just <laughs> keep is, you going. It is. So. But then there's also that, okay, the, you, you, you're challenging us. You know, yeah. when you talk about, there's another line I, I think I was talking to you about Facebook and Twitter. You're telling us there's more to the internet. It's like, yeah. what do you want us to do? That's well, why we go like, to the internet. Well, there's more to the internet than social media, I should mm, say. Because like yeah. Facebook and Twitter might change as platforms. But yeah. like, I feel like there's a lot more benefit we can gain so the, the whole point of the song is like we we are constantly aspiring mm. we need to aspire to change the world and in the video um we we shot it in a, in like a marketplace okay and essentially the message around that was like and we stayed in the marketplace the whole time like if you want to change the world like you can yeah but one you need to realize there's a lot of work that goes into it and we're surrounded by people who are putting their work in mm. but also if you really want to help also start you can start by helping people who are yeah. here in this kind of like because they're working hard they would just need that hand up that extra yeah. push that and but it's going to take work which is what i wanted to ask because right. change the world sounds like one of those very um humongous words like world peace yes like, like wow another so, person so, really you want oh, to change we are the, the leaders of the future yeah you know of tomorrow but then what does that look like so i listen to this song and i'm challenged and like okay how how do i change the world i can't stop all the wars i can't well, yeah. stop climate change yeah but you can start from where you are sort of like uh, there's something i say in the second verse for so like um Pick a book and just read it, read it, read a chapter, maybe two, three even. What's the source of all this information that you have? Is it all third hand or is your whole brain borrowed? Mm. Oops, I didn't mean to offend you. But if you I really did good, maybe this roughing. will help you. <laughs> We're living in a new age of information. If you choose to learn something, you can change generations. Yeah. 
Right? So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so then it's the thing of like, yes, it's not so much changing the world out mm. there, but start from here. Yeah. Like put the work in, learn something. Because you're not going to change the world if you're not learning, if you're not mm. on the move. Yeah. And wow. realize that the change you make now has the potential to change generations. Yeah. Whether that's your own children plus or that's the world around you yeah. plus. But if you only sit back with the wish, so it's, it's challenging the mindset of wishing to change the world. Yeah. You want to wish, but you don't want to put the work in. Yeah. And you're not ready for the next level until, until you're, you're overqualified. For for, yes, I'm curious about that. How do you know you're overqualified for the level you're at? Because a lot of us, like you said, it's very aspirational. Yeah. So like, I'm where I'm at. I'm irritated already. I'm like, ah, I'm ready for the next right, right. level. Then Chimara is telling me in song that I have to first be overqualified. Yeah, for. yeah. But this one, I'm like, how do I know? I think, I, I think two things. I think on the emotional level, you can feel it. But you're right. That is also, it can be misguiding. Yeah. Uh, but as, at the same time, the results should show. Mm. Like, uh, I think it's uh, John C. Maxwell who says, I think in a talk, one, one of his talks, and even his books, he tends to say, like, if you... If in this pond you are an eight or a nine, mm. then you need to, to find a place you need where to find a place where a two, eh. where you're a two and a three, where you feel uncomfortable because there's a, a lot more to learn, yeah. there are a lot more room for growth. Mm. So then, hopefully, the growth that is internal is being expressed outside, and then you can engage people in that higher sphere, mm. so that then you can impact them at that level and impact those yeah. that that perhaps you. You can challenge those who are coming up behind you mm. or provide for those who, you know, like just get into that motion. Yeah. But unless it's it's starting from inside, we are not going to, it's just going to be an illusion. Yeah. Which is that whole like um, first verse thing. Like, yeah, we want to change the world, except you yeah. forgot the fact you never really researched on any aerodynamics and all the wow. stuff you need to know about because you yeah. want to fly but no you didn't study you didn't do the work so yeah. it's a wish at it's best. a wish at best and it's still going to say yeah we want world peace change the and world and step one is you step one is you step one is so like every, regardless so other, of what you do so, step one so is then always going like to be other, you other, another wise guy who said like everyone wants to change the world no one wants to change themselves mm, because we think it's out there like, <laughs> yeah. of course i'm not the problem uh, yeah of course you no, know of no. course it's my neighbor Me, never. Of course, i think it's the government by the way <laughs> i also think it's the fuel prices yeah, it's i like also so think much. it's all those sanctions <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. So, and the hardest person to change is myself. Yeah. And knowing that if I start with me, then there's a higher probability that I will change the, the, the people around me and create a good impact. Mm. And even in my community and my workplace, and then the ripple effect goes and goes. But it has to start from here. Don't you think the hesitation sometimes comes from feeling like I'm just a little piece? What will my changing so, so change I think, with anyone? I think there's two ways of looking at that. Yeah. One would be... <laughs> So this could be a bit controversial, but the one could be, yes, you're genuinely right. If you feel like there's so much work to be done, there's so much poverty out there to deal with, there's so much, there's like, so much. It's like much. when there what is a I drive do? for someone's bill and right. they're saying and even like, 5K will make a difference. And they want like, like maybe 100 million. Like, but I only, I only have, have 10K. Yeah. But I, so I feel like, yes, it's genuine. It can be a genuine frustration. But two, I think it can be also a scapegoat. Mm. Like it's easy to just say what, what can, what do I have? Yeah, and then settle for that. Mm -hmm. But like, well, it matters. Like, there's this thing about moving mountains that I'm, yeah. I'm learning now. See the mountain, see the stones. Yeah, move the stones, mm. move the mountain. Okay, I see it. You know what I mean? Yes. Because then you think like we have to move this mountain. Like what? But the and mountain you have to is, do it all at what? once. That's too tonight. much. <laughs> but but if you see the mountain and you see that it's made up of stones, so you break it up. And then if we focus on moving the stones, mm. it's just a matter of time. We will make an impact. Yeah. And perhaps, sometimes it takes generations, mm. but this mountain will be moved. It will be moved. So that mountain of whether it's poverty, whether it's whatever it is. like Mindset change. That, yeah, like a whole cultural shift yeah. can start with one person. Yeah. And, Actually, and yeah. reminds me of the, the, the parable if for, for Bible readers, the parable yeah. of the talents. Yeah, yeah. And for the longest time, growing up in church, I've had these parables like countless times yeah. and never really understood them. Yeah. But <laughs> for the longest time, I wondered why it was so wrong for the guy who buried his talents to have buried it. Because right, you're right. hearing the sentiment and you're like, how is that a problem? Yeah, yeah. I feel like, like I according to well. his risk assessment, 
yeah, it and, he, and he gave it back. And he gave it yeah, back, like, yes. Well, this is your he gave, he yeah. gave it back. And so looking at feeling small and saying, ah, oh, man, won't even make a difference. I might as well bury it. Yeah. I might as well not be concerned with me. Yeah. I might as well yeah. not change me. Okay, I change and my sibling changes. Those are two people. Right. How is that the world? Well, well and, and the interesting thing is that when you think of your sibling, perhaps, for instance, if you're working so hard to pay school fees for your sibling yeah like you don't know where that sibling is going to end up yeah. but that sibling also represents a whole generation of some of us have been raised in similar ways where yeah. a parent decided to take on extra kids mm -hmm. and they it was hard but they did and now you have your own kids and you're like oh my god this yeah. couldn't have happened without you don't know what your seemingly small contribution can do yeah so, but it has to start from like I have a contribution to make. I have to a this world, and and I'm going to make it. Yeah. I'm going to get better. I'm going to position myself so I can make that contribution. When you put in the work, but it takes work. Yeah, and and we have to know that growth. I'm going to thing. discover my own hindrances yeah, and, and figure out what yeah. we need to figure out. But you're not ready for the very next level till you're overqualified for this one. When was the last time you did something that uh, not absolutely terrified you, but like made you feel that discomfort of growth? Well, well, this, I'll tell you this, like <laughs> my first thing that comes to mind, like this, getting into the mode of like momentum. So it's not mm. just about feeling I can do something, no, show the results, do it. Yeah. So like, okay, so we're going to shoot a bunch of series of videos yeah. about this content. I've never yeah. done this before, but it's like, is it going to be perfect? No, yeah. but let's do it. Why? Because I've been listening to people who are saying like, the music you do makes a difference. Yeah. So for me, it can be like, it's just a song. It's just but like, my no, song, which I wrote when song. I was feeling yeah, I'm like, like this. Yeah. But someone's like, no, your music makes a difference. And it helps with us go, going through some situations in life. Even if it's just you trying to understand the situation, yeah. keep doing that. So yeah. then I'm like, okay, so I need to figure out ways of doing that more because it's impactful, even yeah. at a small level. Yeah. And if I can reach one, two, three people, Perhaps they can reach others. And who knows? Like I'm yeah. positioning myself so I can reach more people and create an impact there yeah. so that their lives can be better. And that's what I'm all about. So has Change the World a challenge? Yes. Yes. I think with doing Change the World, I wanted to challenge us. For those of us who are in our comfort zones, for those of us who are wishing, we want to change the world, mm. but we are not putting the work in and we're doing the same thing the same way day and night and we're not doing anything different. Yeah. I think God has given us gifts and talents and all these different abilities. And mm. there's, so there's an invitation to make a contribution. Yeah. And, and I think there's a challenge in there. We're like, okay, I need to put the work in. If, if I really want to, if I see myself making a difference in this even small area, okay, good, but I need to put the work in yeah. and start seeing those results over time, consistently applying myself to it. Maybe it does make a difference. And I think it does make, it a, does difference. make a difference. In my world, in the world around me, and over time, the ripple effect continues. Yeah. And indeed, maybe we can change the world. We can I, change I the we world. Can. We can. We just so, rise up to the challenge. So it doesn't have to be cliche. It doesn't. If we start from where we are, we can. And I you don't have to be too concerned with the rest of the world. Exactly. Just the world that like, is within your control. Yeah. Do, start, that. Yeah. Do, that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Except you forgot the fact you never really researched on any aerodynamics and all the stuff you need to know about.